Hello you all, I'm Black Witch Yaya. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. And today we're finally doing a follow-up video. I'm talking about the contracts I was speaking of in my story of Arumala, which is an Arisha that I talked about in my previous video. And in that video, I consistently referred to how Arumala is different from all other Arisha because he was the only Arisha, one of the only Arisha, to witness the conversation that happens before mankind hits earth. So before we are born, that contract that we all agree to and sign before we hit earth that lays out different things that we will face, go through and experience in our life. So I wanted to do a more in-depth video on that. Not too in-depth to the point where it's like paranoia, but just to the point where you can understand the power that you have and the destiny that lies ahead of you. Which I'm saying this, I'm going to mention it again, the movie Soul. If you want a nice kid friendly way of seeing it, watch the movie Soul. The way all the characters have to have their purpose before they hit Earth. That's what I'm referring to and that's just basically a cartoon version of the contract that we all sign before we hit Earth. And within this contract, there's all the details that lies ahead of us of the life that we're going to experience. This consists of the challenges we will face, our destiny, our purpose, who we'll fall in love with, our longevity, just everything that will happen to us will is just laid out in front of us in a contract. So that's why at times when we see ourselves going through different situations where we feel like we got off track or tried to follow a crowd or do something that simply wasn't like us, our spirit plays the role of a lawyer like, hey, um, ma'am, this wasn't in our contract. So I'm going to make sure you feel real uncomfortable in this situation because it's not what we're supposed to do. And of course, we don't remember signing this contract, which is why it's so interesting where you can get readings to know your guidelines, your purpose or what you should and shouldn't be doing and all that good stuff. So we have insight through diviners who have the gift of divining but within this contract it's basically like what you need to do before leaving earth who you will be the things you will experience and all that good stuff and that kind of goes to the saying of nothing is by coincidence nothing happens by chance it's all for a purpose it all means something that's why when we face hardships in life or we face things like why did this happen or why did that happen it all leads to the point of us fulfilling our contract for example think about how and why and this was a topic that we talked about on my patreon which was so interesting how and why you got into spirituality think about all the things that led up to that moment and hence why you're into spirituality now whether you're a crystal girl an orisha girl a sage girl bury my feet in the dirt type of girl just think about all the things that led up to that that was all a part of your contract to get to this moment to get to this time everything happens for a reason in divine timing and i know some of you guys may be thinking well they must have had me sign a 360 deal because my life is kind of messed up right now this is where free will comes into play so when you think of this contract don't think of it as like it's a law abiding contract you can't change anything this and this is going to happen we have free will tied up into that contract which gives us the freedom to change our destiny to change our course in life because at the end of the day it is our life and we are creators and we have the power to do so and the source to do so within ourselves. so think about it like this and like I mentioned before, when you get a reading, it's not a doomsday type of reading. It's not like this is going to happen and this is going to happen and this and this is going to happen. You have the choice. Let's just say if I give you a reading right now and you're like, mm -mm, I don't like what's going on in my first house. I need to change something within myself. If you make that change, your whole entire reading, all of the houses change as well. Think of houses like just different categories in your life. So when you watch a reading like the Baron, he'll say house one, house two. All of those houses are just different categories in your life when you do astrology readings or your horoscope you look into your different houses and your birth chart each house just represents a different category or aspect of yourself so just think well i don't like house number one it kind of says i'm selfish so i'm going to be more caring and be more sensitive or whatever to other people by you doing that is going to have an impact on everything else going on in your life so you have the powder the power to i'm thinking of this palo santo powder so you have the power to change your destiny also how rude of me i didn't talk about what i'm doing so within our dry rub now will be featured palo santo 
shaved palo santo so basically i'm just getting all the clumps out right now so it can be nice and smooth when i add it to the dry rub and you can also use this to cleanse your crystals as well and you can get this batch or right, hold on it's looking kind of empty right now but you can get this once i refill it but it's refilled by the time you see this from blackwitchyaya.com so yes you have the free will to change your destiny and keep in mind with this free will as well something that was brought up in one of my other videos y'all see me doing follow-ups i'm doing good where he put voodoo in his vows a lot of you guys caught on to the fact well the guy broke her free will hence why and the reason why we shouldn't put spells on other people because we're like basically breaching their contract with the universe we're telling the universe hey that's cute i know she's supposed to marry craig but guess what freddie over here want her no that person has the free will to decide who they want to fall in love with and change their course of life you don't have the power to do so or try to take advantage of it and if you do do a spell on somebody else with your own self intentions or your own self gain you're going to feel that karma whether in this lifetime or your next lifetime which brings me to and this is just my analogy within that contract i feel we have fine print and within that fine print is what i like to call karma and you guys know whether we do something ourselves that is bad or something that we shouldn't have done and we have to face the consequences Sometimes we're going to face that karma in this lifetime or in the next lifetime. Or sometimes if you have kids, your kids can go through that karma. But that karma has to be basically checked off that you faced it. That's where I make this comparison to like generational curses or like in the spiritual form. I know sometimes generational curses could be like, my mom wasn't good at finance, so I'm not good at finance. But like the generational curses that you will face and have to live through i like to call it the fine print because sometimes we can go through life like why is this happening or all of a sudden this is going bad i just take it as in some instances you can be living out your karma debt or somebody else karmatic debt that's why i always say it's so good to get a reading with someone you trust when you already are ask the universe for dreams so you can see what's going on or whatever way you receive messages clearly whether you're like universe send me a blue butterfly if it's this this and that or give me a dream if it's this is in that i for one if you need to talk to me spirit please don't come up in here knocking over stuff come to me in a dream because you're gonna scare me and we all gonna be running up out of here come to me in a dream so that's how i receive messages but in some cases if you're wondering why what's going on or i didn't do anything to deserve this it could be karmatic debt or just something that you face in your lifetime over on my patreon i shared my past life reading and there was something <laughs> I wish I, I wish I was into spirituality like this when I was in high school because it would have made my senior year a lot better. But there's something that I faced in high school and I'm like, why in the world is this happening to me? I'm so nice. Uh, like, I was like, why is this happening to me? I'm such a good person. Like, literally, I was like, it was just such a plot twist to my life that was going on. I was like, what are you doing? Why is this happening? And then later on in my past life reading, like some of you guys have seen, it was basically like, girl, you faced a situation like this in all of your lifetimes. This is just a karmatic debt that all of your experiences are facing until you heal and learn from it. Hopefully in this lifetime, I'd have learned from it because child, I can't go through that again. But situations like that is what I like to call the fine print. Of course, now I'm going through the process of healing from it and learning how to avoid it again, whether in this lifetime or in the next lifetime, because I experienced it. I'm knowledgeable about spirituality, so I know a little bit better. So now I'm working on that. And that's all within the contract. I'm sure your contract was like, in this lifetime, when she's 24, she's going to have the ding dong moment where she realizes this isn't this happened because of this so do not think of your contract as like a strict agreement and i know i'm not trying to sound like toxic positivity like you have the power to change your life sometimes life sucks and it's okay to acknowledge it. Sometimes you're like, you know what? I don't like this. My life sucks right now. This is and that. But I say, just know that you have the power to change it. Whether it's now, whether you wish, whether it's when you are emotionally ready, just know you have the power to change it. And don't feel bad or feel like you're less than because you haven't changed it yet. Just know that you have the power to do so and just ask your spirit, your ancestors, whoever you go to for your information to guide you on how to change it to, to provide clarity because you have the free will in your contract to change it and also ask for information on why it happened in general because that could teach you lessons that you could carry on throughout your life as well
going back to my Arumala story, that's why he is known as the all-knowing and the perfect person for divination. Because while we were going through that contract, knowing our life destiny, our purpose and all that, Arumala was kind of in the corner taking notes. Like, okay, all right, okay. So when you go to someone who has that gift, it's kind of like, all right, you need to tell this person that her purpose is to teach and she over there trying to entertain. She need to be teaching something like a gym. You know, basically like he's a person that would kind of reroute us like, hey, I was there. You may not remember, but I was there. You need to do this, this, and that. So just always remember, even if sometimes you don't feel like it, you are here for a reason and you have a purpose that needs to be completed and served while you are here. So sometimes if you feel uncomfortable, like things aren't going right, you may be off course, which don't blame yourself for it. Sometimes it happens and you know, when you know better, you do better. So try to get clarity on that. Try to discover how you receive messages and just work on it. Take your time because like I said, your contract needs to be fulfilled. So you have all the time that you have to make sure it gets fulfilled. You have a lot of people and spirits and everything thing around you to gain clarity so just start working on that because when you start to feel uncomfortable or you feel like a whole bunch of bad things are happening just try to get some insight on that contract so you can see how and why things are happening and sometimes just knowing why kind of makes things make sense because like I said before even though my senior year of high school look but now I look back on it like okay I can see why that happened I wish it didn't but I can see why that happened also within that contract as well or that assigning that's where you get your spirit guides your spirit guides are assigned to you to watch over you to guide you throughout life the communications and the signs that you may get throughout life you may not know why those are your spirit guides that has been with you since birth that are going to be there to follow you and remind you as well of your purpose and what you need to be doing to perfectly fulfill or change anything within your contract for the embedderment of you and those around you because you have the power and the access to do so. You are much more powerful than you think. Don't compare your knowledge, your skills, or your practices to anybody else. You have the power to you and that's the most powerful thing you can have. Don't worry about anybody else. Just worry about your power and how you want to apply it to your life. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Like I always say, as above, so below, as within, so without, as the universe, so the soul. Until next time, you guys, I shake.